Hi, my name's Daddy, and I play Clash of Clans sometimes. So the number one request that I have um, on, my, on my channel is, is some sort of tips and tri tricks to help people get started with farming. Um, it's really interesting because I have some of the most knowledgeable subscribers, uh, I think, of any, any YouTuber, really. What I wanted to do was just really give you some basics on farming. Um, and I'd love for you guys to pitch in in the comments with uh, anything I've missed, any advice, in particular, where is the loot at the moment for the different town hall levels? So tell us your town hall level and if you're finding any loot. Which is kind of, I guess, where we should start, really, because farming is all about, about efficiency. And there's different loot for, uh, at different levels all through the game. You could go up to 4K and you'd find loads of Dark Elixir, but it isn't going to be efficient to get there, and it certainly isn't going to be efficient to farm it. Where are you finding loot and it's easy and accessible to get to? So not just farming it, but also retrieving it. So I'm finding that with my Town Hall 8, I'm finding plenty of loot at 1,500 trophies. And with my Town Hall 10, between 1,900 and 2,100 is plenty of loot. But also plenty of loot that you can get to. <laughs> so um, let me just show you a few, a few replays. So talking about efficiency, you want to also find yourself a clan that is uh, friendly to you in terms of farming. Now, there are all-out farming clans, and there's clans that like to do pushes. Um, I think really you need to find one that's going to fit with your play style. Um, what you don't want to do is feel you know under any pressure to uh, you know to sort of give up your farming because there's a clan war going on, or you know because perhaps you know they, they want a, they want a cut push. So yeah, find a clan that's going to be supportive of you know your needs to to farm and also you know to provide you with good good quality uh, defensive troops. And you know for a farmer, you really don't want to be spending big expensive dark elixir. On, uh, you know, on your clan castle troops if what you're farming for is Dark Elixir. <laughs> so um, anyway, f talking about efficiency, farming is all really about um, gaining more resources in as quick a possible time uh, and not losing resources as well. So in the category of not losing resources, what a lot of farmers will do, you'll see, is they put their town halls outside the walls. Um, now you don't want to feel under any pressure from your clan to be you know, pushing up in cuts because Clearly, you're going you're gonna to lose, but the idea is that you're going to lose and uh, lose the trophies, or you know, at least one star's worth of trophies, but you're not going to lose very much loot. Um, so that's why people do it because you know, if you exclude the, you know, the easy to get sort of pumps and mines, really all that you're going to lose is a thousand gold and a thousand elixir, um, and you're going to get a 12-hour shield. So plan out your day. You know, have you got an hour's clashing? Have you got two hours clashing? And then, you know, what troop style is going to sort of be best for you in that time? For example, you know, if, if you just happen to be coming on for 20 minutes and then you're going to go off for another, another 20 minutes, you might want to, you know, perhaps get yourself some, something that's going to take a bit longer to build. Um, you know, like a, a giant healer army, perhaps, or um, giants, wall breakers and goblins. Or if you're going to be on for a straight two or three hours, you want to be raiding as much as you possibly can during that time. So barbarians and archers might be better for you. For me, I'm kind of on intermittently. So I'm kind of on a little bit and then I'm off. Uh, so what I'm doing is I'm using barch, barbarians and archers, but I'm also throwing in some wall breakers in there as well because I find that they really help with the, uh, you know, getting through the walls bit. Um, uh, with barbarians and archers, the, the, you know, the danger, of course, is, is all your troops get bunched up against the wall and uh, the splash damage um, affects them because they're all sort of tends to be very low level um, tier one troops. So let's just uh, there we go, some dark elixir farming there. So, uh, really, so we're talking about efficiency. So, the most efficient army that you could possibly use is the one that we're going to be using today with the addition of some more breakers, which is barbarians and archers. So what you do with barbarians, of course, is barbarians act as tanks. They can take a lot of punishment. And the archers use their range attack to not only destroy the, the, um, the, the buildings on the outside, but also to fire over the walls. So and that's exactly what we're going to be doing here. It's going to be, we'll be firing over the walls at the Dark Elixir. In actual fact, I'm using some wall breakers, so it doesn't really matter that much. Now, in the sub on the area of efficiency, you want to be out there raiding as much as you possibly go. You can't really raid whilst you're sitting with no, ca no, no troops. So, you know, the more that you're hitting next, 
the more efficient you're going to be. And that's why, you know, barbarians archers, barbarians archers and minions tend to be most efficient because the more times you're pressing next, the more chance you've got of finding those those big collector bases that we all we all love. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's important that it's you. And this is kind of like a kind of farming efficiency thing, just like any other farmer. You know, if you go into the countryside, you'll find them wanting to become more efficient. Okay, so you've got some tools of the trade as a farmer. And I'm just going to talk through those. If I can just get this other way going. Here we go. So tools of the trade. So you've got two types of troops. You've got the troops that take the loot, and you've got troops that help you take the loot. So in the category of taking the loot, barbarians. They're used as tanks to absorb um, damage, and also for swarming as well. Swarming with heal is very effective. So um, yeah, possibly use the heal spell, but just be aware that heal doesn't work around infernos. But, uh, archers for their range attack and the fact that they, uh, yeah, but basically they can hit things over the walls is very important. Uh, goblins, they used to be the most important farming troop, but the, the thing is they've got a 30 second build time. So in, in terms of intensive farming where you want to try and get as much as possible, you don't really want to be using too many goblins. And uh, minions, minions are really handy because of course there's, there's two extra camps that are, you know, using, uh, that are building minions. So, you know, you can actually speed up your, um, your build time quite considerably if you use barbarians, archers, and then two camps full of minions. Um, I'd also put uh, wizards in there as well as, uh, you know, a very effective troop, but only when supported by a tank, barbarians, or more commonly, uh, giants. In terms of the supporting troops, yeah, there's giants. So giants, of course, will prioritise the defences. But then also um, wall breakers. Wall breakers are obviously very niche in what they do. They need to be protected. And by protected, I mean you need to de um, deflect the defences away from them so they can sneak in, just like in the cartoon. Um, then you've got healers. Well, you know, healers are okay on an overnight build, but I really wouldn't recommend you sort of building healers. I mean, healers are pointless on their own, so the most common use for them is to support giants, to keep the giants alive. If you're going to use healers, you really need to start taking out the air defence though, because healers are very, very weak and they can't defend themselves. I think they're the only troop that doesn't have a, an offensive capability. And then, of course, the uh, the balloons. So balloons are very used quite a lot actually at a sort of master level or champion level for farming dark elixir, if that's your thing. So those are the supporting troops. So find yourself a cup level that works for you. I.e., you know, there's lots of loot and you can still get it. Um, and then figure out during the time that you've got in the day what you should be using and it's probably going to be a mix of both. The other thing of course is what are you trying to farm? So if you're trying to farm something like Dark Elixir where it's typically it's deeper in you might want to use um, you know sort of giants, um, giants, wall breakers and goblins perhaps with a few barbarians and archers pushed in. Um, if all you want is the sort of more outlying buildings then barbarians and archers are perfectly fine. So we're going to be doing some of the, uh, oh, by the way, before we go out raiding, we've got ourselves a uh, full, let's fill up these camps so that whilst we're out, we're out raiding, we're going to come back to, well, at least some troops, because you can, build, obviously it builds whilst you're out there. So I'm going to fill up the archers, there we go. Okay, you still with me? You haven't fallen asleep? Today we're going to do the most basic farming technique, which is barbarians and archers, with a few wall breakers thrown in. Um, in later episodes, we're going to be focusing in on. We're, we're also going to be we're also going to be concentrating on the um, uh, more well more complicated uh, types of farming. Right. So identifying the target is important. There's two there and two there. So uh, I'm, obviously I'm going after the gold here. So lay down some barbarians quickly, take out the big bombs, well the big bombs that we can see, throw in the archers. So I mean the archers are, are very effective but they're weak. So um, oh, there's another one there. Okay, so throw in the wall breakers there. Hopefully the barbarians will have distracted the wall uh, distracted away from there. There we go, get those wall breakers in, break through. Okay, so we've got the defending troops coming out. What I think is probably going to be the best thing to do is to um, just lightning them. 
but stopping raiding when you see the defending troops is probably the best advice there. You've got plenty of time. Let's get them to bunch up a little bit. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, because the section there is open, so I'm going to um, I'm going to swarm. I'm going to swarm in there. I'm going to use my uh. There we go. Come on, in you go. Let's get in there quick, as quick as we possibly can. In you go, chaps. Come on, what am I paying you for? Oh, chap acid, should I say. Ah, okay. Well, there's not much in the way of Dark Elixir, so I'm not even going to bother with that. But I'm going to go in for this, um, for this uh, storage here. So that's going to be pretty important. I don't have any clan castle troops because I stupidly went out without them. Let's see if we can get through there. There we go. And I think we should be okay. We've got most of it there. That. And there's still some gold up there. So we should be able to get over the over the wall there with the Archer Queen. Yeah, I mean, the, there's, I carry heal. I mean, when it was when it cost gold to um, get that um, elixir. When it cost gold to get spells, no no farmers use them. But now, of course, it's a lot more efficient, really, because we <laughs> just cost elixir. Most most farmers elixir is a byproduct. Um, <laughs> you know, it's just a waste product, if you like. Um, because we, if you look at the, in terms of efficiency, um, oh, I didn't do a lighting. If you look at terms, in terms of efficiency, there's a, there's a website I'm going to link in the description called clashingtools.com. Um, it's really important to see how much time and how much elixir is being used for each raid. Um, I can tell you now with eight wall breakers and equal numbers of barbarians and archers, um, my, my elixir is 33,000 and uh, the time is 23 minutes. So, you know, that means that I could probably get, you know, three, possibly four raids in um, a, an hour. If you look at three or four raids an hour, that's probably 500,000 gold, something like that. Um, anyway, so, well, you know, that's about as efficient as it gets. You never know, I might hit a 500,000 gold uh, monster collector base because I'm out there raiding all the time. So... Stay tuned. We're going to talk about barbarians, archers, and minions in the next one. Then we're going to go on to the uh, giants, uh, healers, uh, and uh, goblins, and then probably going to talk, look at hybrid attacks as well, where you take out a mixture, um, depending on whether you want to take out the uh, the collectors uh, or you want to go all out and use them all. Um, and that can be very efficient where farming because, well, sometimes you only have you use half your troops. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that's been useful. Please do let me know, um, you know what's your favorite farming strategy and uh, what town hall are you at and where's the loot? Let's help each other out. Together we're gonna get better. Thank you very much for your time. Take care and bye for now.